Hello everyone, this is Chosum here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Siege Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. This was a figure that my brother bought for me for my birthday. I originally wanted this for Christmas, but I didn't get him. So first of all, we're taking a look at the box. And it's actually bigger than I expected. So in the front here, we get well, what the toy inside would have been like. And inside, we, we see an artwork with Optus Prime shooting. And in the back, there's product shots of the figure. Um, on the top, we got an ABBA logo. On the back, nothing. So, here's Optimus Prime in the struck mode. As you can see, um, this figure is based on Cyb Cybertron Optimus Prime. And it really shows. So, there's a lot of 360 of them. And as you can see, this top is pretty hollow, and you can already see the shoulder bits. And on the bottom, uh, invisible head syndrome right there. Uh, we'll get to that at the moment. He includes three guns. Uh, this is supposed to be part of the uh, right hose. And these are fake wheels. They're not painted on the back, unfortunately. So for comparison, here he is with Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime. And as you can see, he's actually shorter than Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime. And I think it's kind of a reoccurring thing about Siege and Earth Rise is that Legends, I'm not Legends, Leader class figures are shrinking. And so is Voyager classes, maybe. Here he is with Snapdragon. So, to get him out of this trailer, gotta detach the side panels, and then you yank it off. So put that to the side. So, here's Optus Prime and his truck load without the trailer and it's not the best I mean he has visible hands also um, two things I forgot to mention um, you can't actually do the winged truck mode that the original figure had so that's kind of a bummer and two, this is actually a uh, retool of Siege Ultra Magnus. Well, the figure itself is similar, but the trailer is different. And on the bottom, there's really nothing much. So, to transform them, split the legs, bring the legs down, pull up the heels. Bring the arms, rotate the waist, 
Not actually. No. Open the front of the truck, flip the head, close it, slide it back, close it back, and to bring this up, you actually have to like push it forward and then slide it up, and then you can slide it back, and then rotate the hands. And there is Optus Prime in this robot mode. Galaxy Force Optus, no, not Galaxy Force. Galaxy Upgrade Optus Prime, but he's not Galaxy Upgraded yet. So yeah, here he is. So for articulation, his head can rotate, his arms can move. And of course, his wrists move. Legs are on ratchets. And he has typical articulation for Siege. And he has a waist civil because of the transformation. So, he can get on his gun. Like that, and he's ready for battle. So let's take a look at the head, head sculpt. It's very nice. Now what's weird is that uh, the original figure um, didn't have, well actually he did, but uh, he had an option where he could uh, remove his Battle mask, like in the Cybertron, in this Transformers Cybertron cartoon, he he didn't have a bow bow mask when he was in his normal form most of the time, and this figure just doesn't. And also, the smokestacks aren't painted, and the arrows aren't painted either. So, let's have some comparisons. So here he is with Orion Pax, and surprisingly enough, he is almost as tall as Orion Pax. And here he is with Snapdragon, and this is a Wager class. And he is, uh, Snapdragon is a bit taller, probably because of the shoulder. So now, we're going to be combining them with his trailer. So let's just leave his guns. And then reattach them to the trailer. So, let's get started. First of all, we need to... Take the back part off, which is really tough to get out, and then move it, split them apart, pick out the shoulder pads, bring out the heels, like that. So for Optimus, close the heels. And then attach, attach these, rotate the waist and close it back up. And for the shoulders, well, put them on the shoulders. And you have to take these wheels from the back, you have to remove them. 
and then these attach to his arms and finally slide his body and put away the head slide this down slide it back and this would form the backpack. So we take this part, uh, bring these out of the way, pull it back, pull these back, pull the guns up, and pull these cannons up, pull the chest up, rotate the head. And this is going to attach to the spine. So we do that, pull it down, take it in, and there you go. This is Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime and is combined armor mode. And I might say it's it actually looks pretty good. You can pull through sixty of them. That's a huge backpack, though. Well, not really that huge, but yeah. So for articulation, head moves. Uh, well, I mean, he has. Pretty much the same articulation as before. You can still do that. So what you can actually do in this mode, you can bring these cannons down, and you can plug them to his arms. And now you can fire these cannons. So. For comparison, here he is with Snapdragon. And as you can see, Galaxy Upgrade is now taller than Snapdragon. And here he is with Power to Prime, Optimus Prime. And sadly, as a leader class, this is kind of an insult. This is, well, Siege Galaxy Updraftus Prime is ironically shorter than Power to Prime Optimus Prime, and they're both leader classes. This is just a Voyager class figure with armor parts. But that's just a minor complaint. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe.